The Nollywood industry has lost two of its own again, with the record of deaths reaching 20 or even more than that in 2021, and we are still in August. And in the month of August, the recorded number of deaths is just so much. Maybe this August should just pass. The final barrier for Stanley Okoro and Rachel Oniga was just done over the week. And now we have another two Nollywood actor who died in the space of hours. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing each of them to you. But if you are new to our channel, please ensure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. And also don't forget to bell the notification bell for more updates whenever we post new videos. You can follow us on Instagram at hejimuzi, E-G-I-M-U-Z-Y. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Yes, the first person on the list is Victor Olaoton. Victor Olaoton is a Nollywood Nigerian actor who died after a prolonged illness. The 69-year-old actor who is best known for his role as Fred Ade Williams in the popular TV series Tinsel was bedridden for five years after he was involved in a ghastly motor accident. The actor was driving to a movie set in 2016 when the accident took place around Apple Junction in Festac, Lagos. He had until recently been battling for his life in a Turkish hospital for almost three years. His widow wife, Julia Olautom, broke the news of his death to Premium Times on Friday morning. Ms. Olautom said she is grateful that the 69-year-old actor can finally go to rest after suffering for years. He has tried. It is not easy to be trapped in your own body for five years. He can finally rest now. The late actor was recently flown back to Nigeria, where his condition deteriorated when the family could no longer shoulder his medical expenses abroad. In 2018, the actor requested financial aid to facilitate his treatment outside the country. And after two years of being incapacitated, shortly after, the Nigerian billionaire Femi Otedola agreed to settle his bill of about 39 million naira. The actor's wife confirmed that the money was paid directly into the account of the hospital in Turkey. And after some period, Mrs. Ola Oton told the newspaper in an interview that though the actor was getting better, she could no longer pay the hospital bills that were already piled up. She said, medically he is improving and there has been a lot of improvement. His recent picture was what was used to do his birthday wish on social media, so there has been a lot of improvement. The major challenge is financial and that has been a struggle. We have come out occasionally to ask for funds and we are not ignorant of the fact that there are challenges such as the COVID pandemic which has affected everybody both locally and internationally. But I have bills to pay. His hospital bills is around $7,500 a month and the main reason he is there, I actually haven't done it, is to get his procedures done. We have done the first stage of the medical procedure. It was the first phase that Mr. Otedola paid for. She added that the hospital also sent her some documents threatening to take legal actions. Mr. Ola Oton featured in movies like Love Struck as, as well as Three Wise Men alongside with Richard Mufedamijo. Victor Ola Oton was born on February 17, 1952 in Lagos State. He studied drama at the University of Ibadan at the Yoba Femi Awolowo University and at Rock University in the United States. He became an actor at the age of 15 through a teacher who was a member of the Horiolo Kuntiata group in the early 70s, prior to the death of his father. He played football while in school and got his first job after his graduation as a football player for Water Corporation in Badon's first division. Ola Oton began his career as an actor when he joined the University of Ibadan Theatre group where he met other artists such as Professor Wally Shoinka and Jim Sholanke, among many others. Ola Oton steered in a soap opera by Lao Ulu Oguni he called Candles in the Wind and worked at NTA Ibadan where he produced Yoruba and English drama in 1974. And in 1981, he accompanied former President Shehu Shagari to the United States to have a meeting with President Ronald Reagan. Among the notable celebrities that talked about his death, is that of the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Muhammad. And as condoled with the family, friends, and fans of the popular Nollywood actor, Mr. Victor Lauton, who died just recently. 
The minister said the hard work and the commitment to excellence of the likes of Mr. Lawton are the reason Nollywood has taken the world by storm. A distinguished thespian and a gentleman, Mr. Lawton brought joy to many homes through his talent and was a source of inspiration to the younger generation of actors and actresses in the country, he said. And also, the veteran actor Richard Mufedamijo, also known as RMD, penned down a touching tribute to his colleague, Lead Victor Lauton. He recounted fond memories he shared with the late actor, which he accompanied with a photo of them together and a video in which they both stared in. The Nollywood icon revealed his late colleague loved the song Warranty by Adekunle Good, as he confessed that he has caught the love fever for the song because of him. According to RMD, the late actor exuded great infectious vibe. He wrote, saying, Memories flood in my mind. Every time I play or hear Adekunle Good Orente, I remember how you used to love that song. It was our song. You not only made me love it, you gave me the mixtape with the song in it. You were such a vibe. I'm glad our loved ones never die. More so actors, but live in our memories forever. My deepest condolences to your wife and family. One of the founding members of Nollywood is the second person on the list by the name Infan Yidiki. Multiple sources made it known that he was being diagnosed of kidney failure who currently needs help back then in abroad. And those close to him said the estimated cost for the surgery was about $60,000. DK, who was the chairman board of the trustees of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, has been battling with this illness for so long now and needed assistance, which made close friends and stakeholders to start running after him in a bid to raise the money for him to get the required medical attention. He said, you know I'm a shy person, so I have been trying to solve the problem on my own, but now it has drained my pocket. I have no choice but to seek help from friends the struggling DK quoted while he was still alive and he sent his account number back then. The Thespian who chaired the Actors Guild of Nigeria, EGN Board of Trustees, passed on after a brief illness. Confirming DK's demise, a family source said his burial arrangement would be made later to the public. It will be recalled that the deceased has been down for about 10 years. He has been down for about 10 years. Speaking about the kidney transplant in an interview, Dickie stated while he was full of life, after the operation, his lifestyle had changed. While he asked the member of the public to prioritize their health, Dickie said kidney failure was not a death sentence, adding that it only gets worse when people don't go for medical checkups in hospitals. Dickie, however, charged the Nigerian government to float an awareness campaign for the purpose of enlightening members of the public on how to avoid suffering from kidney-related ailments. May their soul rest in perfect peace. What are your thoughts about them? What are your thoughts about the two of them? What do you think about them? Comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thought is. But if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button. And also don't forget to bell the notification bell for more updates on our we post new videos. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.